Hello YouTube. Um, today I have a presentation on how to create um, a tic-tac-toe uh, game using uh, PHP programming language and HTML. So I have here on the screen um, the, the, the end product, the end game, and I'm going to just demonstrate how it works before I actually um, create it. So as you can see the game works and um, I'm going to show you how to program uh, the game and um, hopefully you will enjoy it. So the first thing you're going to need is to have an IDE, you know like NetBeans and um, create a new project. Okay, create a project in PHP. You can use a different uh, IDE like uh, Notepad++ or even Eclipse. Oh, so we're going to name this project Take Talk to Game. Okay, so um, this was actually the test that I did, like I practiced doing it before and uh, this is the, the project file. I'm just going to start all over again. Um, so we're going to start by creating a form. Okay, so we've created the form and we need to create uh, the information that goes to the form and in our case it's, it's these boxes here so we're going to create that.
So we're going to try and print it out and see if it actually works. Uh, what this is this is uh, one element of the form. Okay, so it gave us this, but it also gave us a, a problem here. It says the ID cannot be recognized, so we're going to have to create an ID. But since we know that the, the, the box is working, we're going to uh, create eight more boxes like this, so they could uh, so they could look something similar to what we ha we had at the the end of the the end the end product of the game so uh, this is basically just how it should look this is the first one that we just created and then we're going to create the rest of the eight we're going to do, we're going to do that using a for loop so uh, we we'll use the name which is id Okay, so we've created one until nine for the loop, so it should give us nine boxes and remove this this arrow here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we want to arrange them. So uh, we're going to have to uh, break this in threes. So we do that by breaking it if or maybe is it is to be seven print break. have that so it actually worked and um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to create um, we're going to create uh, the how the input values will be added and saved on the, on the form on each box so uh, we're going to do that by um, by writing some program that's going to uh, collect the information and basically just process it so I'm gonna use an if statement if is set Submit and not another one post ID. Okay, so we're going to um, print out the value that would be added in case the, the box is not empty. So uh, I'm going to print um,
paling fokus ID So if you set for submit and for empty post ID print value. Also we need to check whether the value is either X or O. So uh, we're going to write an if statement to make sure that the value being printed is an X or an O. So we'll put this back in there. Okay, so if there is a value that is either X or O, it will be printed on this um, box here. Um, we can also add else. the value is not else print um well, actually error should be true error should be true here So if we set post submit and not empty and if it's X or O it will post the value and if there is no um if there was a value added and it's not X or O uh, the error will become true. Right now the error is false, but if that happens it turn it changes to true. So uh, we're going to write some code to uh, to actually uh, determine whether these um, the the input the user puts in is either an X or an O, and whether they actually match. Like do they match like one five nine or one two three or four five six or seven eight nine? Okay, so. To do that, we're going to need a for loop and three variables A, B, and C. 